right so uh, look if this this kind of uh, trying to look at this right so you just picture this thing okay and then you would get to understand this so what we are trying to see is that there are two data sets we want to check whether their distributions are the same so our now hypothesis is saying that the distributions are the same so it means that this probably line on the same line or their medians the mean and median are the same or something all right so that is that and here all right we are saying that they are different so if you say you are they are different then you are not showing the direction of shift so that's a two-tail test but when you make mention of the direction of shift whether shift to the left one distribution a is shifted to the left of the other or distribution b is shifted to the left of the other then there is that one tail test okay all right so thick note some people might also be looking at the median they be mentioned median right so if the median of distribution one is greater than the median of distribution two then obviously distribution two will be shifted to the left of distribution one okay because remember that remember that these are numbers rating from the lowest to the highest okay so if the only point this distribution will be shifted to the left to the left of this one is when the me uh, median of this uh, moves lower or small right so you see that in this scenario i can say that distribution one has been shifted to the right of distribution what two or i can say that the median all right the median of distribution one is greater than the median of distribution what two so this is also one theory test okay all right so take note of that so if it happens that you have large samples they won't be using the distribution table right we'll be using the z table with large sample we say that it's the u is approximately normally distributed all right that means remember that for you to have a large sample in all the cases you are saying n1 and n2 both of them should be greater than 10 okay so when you have the first sample one more than 10 sample two more than 10 then you expect that you would be using the approximation normally distributed all right so in that case remember your u statistics should also be calculated that u statistic would always be calculated all right but to get your test statistic uh, your test statistic for that sample you have to just make sure that you find your mean right find your mean and then find your standard deviation because that is what you want to use to find your test statistic for large sample so this your u naught will be the minimum of u1 and u2 right then minus the mean you found over the standard deviation so this form let's take note they are not difficult to take note of them take note of them and then um, the decision rule for z test is always you reject when the absolute value is greater or equal to half over two okay for two tail tests and then one tail test is just alpha all right okay so that is that and these are some assumptions so the assumptions are that they are randomly selected and then they are independent to each other all right and then they are at least ordinal so this is a typical example all right consider purchase of items in ghana studies by both males and then females in a certain community so there is a male and female so we see that maybe two independent data male and female independent so what we do is i'll put them together and rank them so putting them together the lowest is 56 one all right and then two is 85 three 
is one two three and then we rank up to the highest value I think uh, which is 17 or so 365 right so what we want to see is that these are the salaries for male and these are the salaries for the female even though this is what the males are thinking this is what the females are thinking can we say that the distribution the way the the salary has been distributed among the males is it the same as the way the salary has been distributed among the females okay this is actually what we want to, we want to check okay actually what we want to check all right so this is actually what we want to check and to do that this thing is boring so to do that we just did the ranking all right so after the ranking then you this is your first data data one this is your data one so let's say this is my data one and this is my data two so you have to find a rank for this the sum of the rank for this and find the sum of the rank for this one so it means you sum all the rank you sum all the rank all right we are testing at alpha equal to 0 0.05 so this has been done summing all the ranks for male is 65 and for females is 88 all right so we now go and look for our test statistic because remember the sample sizes all of them are less than or equal to 10 this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 four five six seven eight nine or something here yeah. so all of them are like less than so small sample so we have to look for our u statistic so to do that we need our u1 we say u1 is n1 n2 1 over 2 n1 n1 plus 1 minus r1 so doing that 43 u2 is just replacing u2 here i think yeah that one is also u2 check check that it's also u2 okay u2 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 and then um, minus that doing that to also get 29 so your u statistics with a u naught is a minimum of u1 and u2 and the minimum is 29 okay so now you go and look for this probability okay you go and look for probability that u is less or equal to 29 you go and look for this on the table okay so the distribution table of which i don't have it now so you go and look for it and then the value you see there is 0 0.2707 okay so that value you get you come and compare that with half over two remember this is um one sample let's see whether it's a two sample a two tail test test for a difference between the amount purchased by male so you see that is there a difference they are not showing the direction of the difference whether the males are more than the females or me females are that they are not interested so it's a two tail test so in that case you compare with alpha over two okay so comparing 0 0.2707 with 0 0.025 it happens that this value is greater than this value okay so we, we said that the rejection rule is that it should be less than okay we said that if it is less than then we reject okay by happening that this is greater than that so we fail to reject and conclude that there is no sufficient evidence to indicate a difference between male and female purchases okay or purchase amount all right okay so that is that so this is another example all right so um, you you do the same thing and then check this one you are supposed to test the data provides sufficient evidence to indicate a difference in the distribution of weight for a tag turtles exposed to the two lake environments so it's like there are some uh, turtles that was exposed to two environments and then probably some something their growth was recorded and then they want to see whether 
those two environments the distributions are the same all right so this is also a two tail test so you go through the same process and then you find your u1 and then u2 okay then look for your critical value or which is from the man with me u table okay and then it happens that this they go 0 0.0015 and that's less than 0 0.025 so you reject each note and conclude that there is evidence to conclude that there is difference okay there is difference all right so i think this is a large sample all right so for large sample you'd you also rank them and then take your n1 and n2 do the ranking find your u statistics that one is very important the same formula find u statistics for this we had a nine but because it's a large sample you have to find your mu and standard deviation or variance right so your mean is just n n1 n2 so n a n b over 290 and then your standard deviation square root of the variance which is also 20.9 you slot it into this you get negative 3.95 which is your test statistic and then you compare that with now remember your alpha value that was given in the question was 0 0.05 isn't it 0 0.05 so for 0 0.05 0 0.05 which is that you go and look for that on the z table and then obviously for 0 0.05 um, Let me check whether it's a one theory test. Test whether there is sufficient evidence to indicate organization A has larger number of so there is some direction. Okay, so it's a one theory test. So we don't have to divide the alpha over to, uh, divide that alpha value by two. Okay, all right. So we just do that and get one point six five. Comparing this with that in absolute terms. Right, it happens that if you are not even using the absolutes and you are sketching, you will see that this will definitely be in the rejection region. Okay, if you are sketching, uh, if you are sketching, you sketch and then you will see that negative 1.65 will be somewhere here, but negative 3. Point something will be here, which is also in a rejection region. So you will reject each note and conclude that A has some larger number of return checks than organization B, right? So that is that. So to find p-values, of course, this is a z-table. So you go to the z-table, look for three negative 3.93 and then see the associated probability and that's 0 0.00, right? sure 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 so that is this and then we would look for the table and then go through an example using the table so